We're here with Guénolé Bernard, responsible for mast and rigging and control system, uh, and the design team here at Luna Rosa. Guénolé, you were on the joyride today. Can you give us your feeling how that was? Of course, sea state and so on. Like, how was that? Yeah, I think it was a really good day, no? and uh, we are lucky to have a boat where we can bring guests, no? and. Uh, and today, uh, I mean, we were two, uh, two lucky guys from the design team that uh, were able to, to go on board now. So we start the day, it was quite, quite light, and, uh, but which was good for us to start like that. And then, uh, I mean, as you can see on the picture and video, we finished with a, a good sea breeze now, that, uh, and the sea state increasing uh, hour after hour. So yeah, it was, uh, was really nice, really interesting, and quite dynamic, uh, I would say, yes. Can you give us a small hint on what you and Nicolas were monitoring on board? I guess a lot, but anything in particular? Yeah, I mean, I think the main idea of this, uh, of this kind of ride is, is to, uh, I mean, to take, out, uh, to take a sort of our computer world, you know, where uh, maybe sometimes everything is a bit easier and uh, understand as well uh, what problem we can face, you know, while, uh, while you are sailing. And, uh, Oh, oh, they can. I mean, for, if I speak for myself, look how people are, are acting on the sail, on the control, the speed as well, the, or the dynamic phase, no? And, um, and yeah, it was really to, to try to get a bit of our head out and, uh, and really get closer to the sailor feeling and understand better their need and uh, while they are struggling in some, uh, in some area and, uh, and really, yeah, trying to get better and uh, mer merging like what we have like from the theory to what really uh, we can see on the water now, so. And can you try to explain us uh, how do you consider waves in terms of dynamic loads and like designing <coughs> mast and trout and so on in terms of rigging, how big has uh, the waves and a sea state impact on that? Yeah, well, when you design your system, you have like, uh, I mean, you have like the load case that are, are coming from, uh, let's say, the, the normal uh, working load case or sailing upwind, sailing downwind in normal condition. And then you have uh, always some, some load case that are coming like from, uh, uh, would you say, like uh, out of the box uh, load case, things that you are not considering, like uh, a bare away that is not ending in a way you want. Or, or even a roundup of a few things like that, but are gonna, are gonna be important load case because they are the one at the end putting the, your safety factor and like the, the biggest load to design your, your system. So yeah, I think what we are trying to understand is uh, in which case situation we can end up with, uh, with the boat, with some wave and you know, like, like and it's quite interesting a day like today, for example, you do a lot of, uh, we do some better way where after we staff the boat. So, uh, to, I mean, looking at the data for sure, I think we will see some interesting number on the shroud now going, going up. And, uh, and yeah, you see all the, the relation and the possible scenario that can happen, you know, like also because like you can have, if, if we speak about the rig, you know, the load can totally change according to how is your, uh, your main sheet set up and, uh, and things like that. So yeah, really trying to cover all the scenario. And, uh, and it's important as well to not, overkill your load case because you will pay, uh, you will pay it after uh, while dimensioning your system. And in terms of recon, which you probably saw from the other teams, has something specifically caught your eye or are you considering something specifically? Yeah, I mean, it's difficult for me to, to say what is interesting from the other team because I think we, we want to keep it for us. But for sure, no, we from the recon, we are seeing a lot of uh, inter interesting stuff. No? And, uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, uh, the, the biggest mistake would be to, to only watch ourselves, and, uh, and uh, we really want to, to watch the other are doing, try to consider while, while, uh, while they are doing those things, and, um, and really put ourselves in a, in a situation to, to not just only think about uh, our system, but uh, what's the reason uh, they are doing things. And I mean, we all know that in the team, there are smart guys as well, so it's normal that we look at what they are doing. Et puis en tant que Français, je suis super content aussi de voir une équipe française qui, qui arrive sur uh, la Coupe de l'Amérique. Il le mérite. Merci, Gwenolé. De rien. <rire>